Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Down to Earth episodes 161 and 162. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do the blur 50% of each episode. So cat logos going up or else my channel's going to be taken down. Not dealing with it. Sorry. I I got four copyright strike where my channel almost got, you know, perma banned. And luckily I worked with Webtoons and they watched my videos and confirmed that I did follow the rules so they kind of like took it off. So I'm gonna keep on doing exactly that just to avoid being like my channel being blacklisted. But I do have all my reads on my Patreon page which is at patreon.com slash cktchaotic. Here you can get uh, early access and contents that have no censorship such as uh, stuff that with thriller, horrors, and uh, explicit stuff. So yeah, <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. I honestly I don't remember what happened last, but I don't know whose voice is this. Do not panic. Uh, uh, I started to make things float. Uh, uh, what? I do not know. I, I do not know how to stop it. How did this happen? Well, I was playing with Cosmo. And I suddenly got this feeling. Uh, it felt like things became weightless. I ignored the feeling and tossed a toy to Cosmo. <gasps> and to my surprise, uh, it was floating. Things got out of hand. <laughs> and here I am. Please help, Kate. Uh, I'm scared. I might hurt Cosmo. Okay tried to calm down. What have you tried to do? When I lower, lower my hands like this, everything lowers down and then they float back up. Uh, hmm. At least Cosmo seems fine. Maybe I could just grab her out of this? I got her. Oh, hmm. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Oh. No. Oh, Kate. What do I do? This seems. This seems to be just as confusing to you as it is to me. Kate, what if I hurt Cosmo? I'm so scared. Oh. All this alien stuff is beyond me, but it's okay. We can figure this out. Has anything else been happening? What do you know what's going on? No, I do not understand what's going on with me. Well, you know you can talk with me about anything, right? You don't have to hide things. Maybe you're under a lot of stress? Uh. Talk to me. I, um, I have been hearing Cosmo's thoughts. Huh? And now this. I suppose I am feeling a bit hopeless. How will I fit in on Earth? What if I cannot con control these abilities? I feel like I will not be able to live here. I will have to run away again. <laughs> Where will I go? What will I do? Do. Zay, stand up. Oh. You won't have to run away again. We can make it work. We'll figure this out. I'm here for you. Oh, thank you, Kate. Yeah, of course. You're normal again. Oh. Okay. I guess when she's really sad or stressed out, stuff happens. But when she's calm and 
okay and feeling loved, she feels normal, like human normal. Uh, huh? Zay? Weird. Oh! Uh. Oh! Zay, why do you do that? <laughs> Sorry, Kate. I have a favor to ask. Oh, would you deliver this to Stace for me, please? Stace? Depends. What is this? You can read it if you like. It is a letter expressing how I feel. Huh? Oh, you're taking a break from modeling? Yes. Just until I begin to feel better. It shouldn't take long. You could say I need to clear my head. <laughs> At least this isn't what I thought it was. What do you think this was? Oh, nothing. Oh. Is there a reason you'd rather send a letter than to go tell him in person? N no. No reason. I thought it would be more appropriate. Okay, thank you, Kate. I wish to go draw now. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we should get a pair of those cringy friendship necklaces. You know, the one that connects together? What? Those aren't cringy. <laughs> yeah, right. Says you. Wait, look at this one. Let's buy several. Stace. Uh, this is a very important day for you. Your first day of school. What do you do now and going forward will shape your future. Don't tell me he born in like a really... His clothes are like all ripped up so they're poor. Do you remember my advice? But in movies and in books. This is real life, son. Those are all distortion of the tough reality. Just wait. By the time you get back home, you will understand. Oh. Doesn't he look... Why is he... Hey. Why do your clothes look like that? It got holes. Just buy new clothes. I... Or at least wash them. Oh. Yeah, it has stains. Hey. Can I borrow a pencil? Oh, ew. Your breath smells. <laughs> oh. Brush your teeth. <laughs> Grandpa was right. I don't need friends. That's so sad. It's sad for me because, see, like, you know, I grew up um, not poor, but kind of like close to there. At least I was able to bathe and wash my clothes. But like, we just didn't know when our next meal would be. And we eat a lot of canned food like Spam or like canned fish with rice and I just remember like there are times where we just don't have anything. We just eat rice with like soy sauce. But also I had a, I don't have a friend, but I had a person that in my neighborhood who her parents are just addicts. Okay. Yeah. They did a lot of bad things and they would not work and their electricity and water always cut off. And so she would go to school. Her little baby brother would pee everywhere because they don't change their diaper so she would literally sleep on a bed full of like pee and of course she can't shower because the water's turned off and she will go to school and people will bully her because she smells a lot really bad she can't brush her teeth and she oh, her eyes are always crusty her hair is always so matted it was just so sad and of course like once we got to high school she went to different schools that time was I was a lot older than her. She was like in elementary, I was in middle school. And when I was in high school, she was in middle school. So high school came and she was finally in high school when the time I was in high school. 
and she kind of like was this cute little kid became like this really depressed child who's like into goth like heavy metal music stuff like that and she still kind of like yeah smelled but I felt really bad for her of course I never got close to her because you know she was to herself and she was kind of mean you know of course it makes sense because she had to cope with that you know uh, of that she had that her shield up her guards up so I know she moved because her parents parents got evicted from the place but it was really hard to see someone go through that so it makes me feel, feel silly I feel really bad for states right now knowing that background okay hey I know I'm off tomorrow he's typing oh z z z Kate, but do you mind if I drop by? Down to earth. <sighs> yeah, that kind of made, that kind of tugged on my heartstrings, guys. Whoever you guys are, however old you guys are, if you guys are in school or you guys have kids who are in school, please sincerely teach them to be kind, because you know you don't know what the kids. Are going through at school you know you don't know why they smell funny they or even at work you know I had a co-worker who always sleeps and was really grumpy and stuff and I didn't realize he was going through a divorce but he was also not very a nice person when I needed help with stuff <laughs> very snobby but you know you don't know what kids you know young kids who have no control of what's going on in their household are going through so kindness goes a long way and please teach your children please be the person to spread kindness to those <sighs> you never know all right guys if you guys enjoy the way i read this and react to this webtoon feel free to subscribe leave a thumbs up and if you guys do want to support my reads for all the works that i do you guys don't have to uh but i will i'll i will always greatly appreciate it I do have all my reads here on my private channel, which is on patreon.com slash ckt chaotic. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!